enamel lamellae this is enamel lamellae you can see here the enamel lamellae number a enamel lamellae number b the part is enamel tuft and c is, in c is neonatal lines c is neonatal lines Uh, now we will discuss about the hypocalcified areas of enamel. The hypocalcified areas of enamels are enamel lamellae, enamel tufts, enamel spindle, enamel lamellae, enamel tufts, and enamel spindle. And the surface structure is and surface structure. In surface structures, the, the there are pedigamata, rod end, and cracks. Pedigamata, rod end, and cracks. So first we will discuss about enamel lamellae and enamel tufts. You can see here enamel lamellae and enamel tufts. Enamel lamellae. What is enamel lamellae? Enamel lamellae. So we will discuss about enamel lamellae. They are thin leaf like structure. Enamel lamellae is a thin and leaf like structure that attains from the enamel surface towards the DEJ you can see here uh, towards the DEJ at time they extends into the dentine for a uh, into the dentine they are hydro calcified areas containing of organic matrix containing of organic organic matrix no enamel tufts so enamel lamella is leaf like structure is attained from enamel uh, towards the DEJ they are the hydrocalcified area containing organic matrix enamel tufts they are poorly calcified portion of enamel formed due to a brown change in direction of enamel rods moving left or right they begin at the DEJ and ends at the enamel to about one-fifth or one-third of its thickness this is enamel tufts this is enamel tufts the red portion you can see here in the red portion is enamel tufts here middle is dentine enamel junction the junction between the dentine and enamel enamel rods and enamel tufts now now we'll discuss about enamel spindles this is enamel spindle odontoblast processes usually aimed at the DEJ how DEJ enamel spindle enamel spindle they are odontoblastic process that pass across DEJ and extension to enamel they are called so because they are thickened at their end they are formed because because of ex extension of odontoblast process between stellate reticulum and stellate intermedium before enamel formation they are perpendicular of DEJ and direction of spindle and rods are divergent Now, peri, uh, now the surface structure in, from in surface structure they are perigamata rod end and cracks perigamata uh, you can see the uh, transverse grooves in the tooth they are continuous around the teeth and usually lie parallel to each other and to cemento uh, enamel junction ordinarily there are about 30 perigamata per millimeter in region of CJ now rod ends they are concave and very 
vary in depth and shape they are they, uh, they are shallowest in cervical region and deepest near incisal or occlusal edge now crack their outer edges of lamella their outer edges of lamella they extends from varying distance along the surface at right angle to dej from which they originate they are evenly spaced cracks Thank you.